Hey guys, Super Tender Bob here, and I'm here with a small little Xcode tutorial for you today. Okay, open up your Xcode project and come to your interface for you today. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you can get the content in your Mac application view and how you can get it to resize or relocate itself depending on how big the view is. Okay, I'm going to be using a button today and I'm going to add see some sort of view let's add oh, a, a web view okay very commonly used view and we can add this okay button and add a name if you want okay. okay and just put it wherever you want and let's just make this small and get the view back in its place okay if you run this in Coco Simulator by going to File and click on Simulate Interface, you'll notice that when we resize the window, the web view just, you know, it doesn't resize itself, it just moves up and down, and the button stays in its exact same place and doesn't move either. This is obviously not what we want, since it looks unprofessional, and if you've got a web view, you obviously want the user to have, you know, a customization of how big the view is, so that they can, in this case, see the website in a bigger view. So, quick Coco Simulator. And come back to Interface Builder. Select your web view and open up Inspector. If you haven't opened up Inspector, go to Menu Bar and click Tools. Once there, click on Inspector. Okay, in the third tab along in Inspector, you see it says Web View Size. And one of the tabs in Web View Size is Auto Sizing. This obviously controls how big or small the view is, depending on how big or small your window view is. We want this view to get bigger and smaller horizontally and vertically, which are what these two buttons are here for inside this box here. So check them both. As you can see in the preview alongside it, when the window gets smaller or bigger, the web view resizes according to how big the window is. We want the same thing for the button, but we don't want the button to get bigger or smaller, hence why we're not going to use the buttons in the middle of the box. We want it to move up and down and left and right. So we click these four buttons outside this box. Okay, now let's simulate this interface. Okay, when we move the view around, you can see the button stays in the exact same location and the web view is getting smaller and bigger according to how big the window is. How there's one thing about the uh, button. Let's make this view really big. You can see it stays in the exact same location. That is what we wanted. We don't want the button to get too big or too small. After all, it's only a button. We don't want it to take too much space. If you do want the button to get uh, longer or wider as the view gets wider, this is how you can do it. Quick Coco Simulator and come back to Interface Builder. Check the button in the middle of this square. This is how wide the button is. You notice you can't check this button up and down. That's because buttons can only be made uh, wider or shorter. Okay, you can't make the these push, especially these push buttons into big buttons. Okay. Okay. Save this and uh, run it in Simulator interface. Run it in Cocoa Simulator. You notice as we uh, extend the view now, the button gets wider. This may be useful if you have a lot of text in the button. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope this has helped. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.